The Olu of Wari Ogiame Atuashi III has admonished the reconstituted Wari Council of Chiefs to endeavor to present Wari Kingdom in good light at all times. He urged the chiefs to promote values of integrity in order to showcase Wari Kingdom in glowing light and vowed not to compromise on matters of the common good of Ishekiri nation. The traditional ruler of Iwere land said this during the inauguration of the reconstituted Wari Council of Chiefs in his palace in Wari, Delta State. He appealed to the revalidated chiefs to eschew misrepresenting Iwere land and his person on any issue, promising to speak and stand by the truth at all times. Do not misinterpret this kingdom. Do not say things in the name of the Olu. What he has not said were going to be a kingdom of laws, he said. My hands, as the Olu, will never be tied. I will tell you the truth at all times, he added. The new Wari Council of Chiefs has the Yashere of Wari Kingdom, Chief Johnson, Amar Sheru Lege, as the chairman, and Chief Eugene Ikomi as the secretary. You will recall that the Council of Chiefs was dissolved a few weeks ago and the revalidation of titles commenced after the dissolution. Having gone this far, it is proper to formally reconstitute the new Council of Chiefs, he said. As we have said in our speech on the Coronation Day, we really want to work with everybody. When people come here, they will see dignity in the way you carry yourselves as chiefs. As chiefs, you are an extension of the Olu. You cannot be seen as portraying the throne in a negative light. Meanwhile, chairman of the newly reconstituted Warri Council of Chiefs, Chief Amasheru Lege, while responding on behalf of the council, commended the traditional ruler for the revalidation exercise. The Olu of Wari, who also received homage from Ishekiri communities at his palace, averred that the chiefs would work with his vision to engender greater Ishekiri nation. The Ishekiri kingdom, they've experienced change recently. So being um, having a new monarch, uh, the person of Enshola, Emiko, as the new Olu of Wari, the 21st Olu of Wari, and you know when he came in, when Shola took over, when um, Shola Ogyami Atuashe the third took over, he he looked at the way things were. You know, even all of the the circumstances that surrounded his emergence as the Olu designate before he was crowned king, he knew all that was happening. Those that were opposing him, those that were standing against him, those that were not in support. And are still not in support. We know up to now that um, some persons are still not in support. The likes of um, Ayeri, the suspended Oluboshere of Ori Kingdom. He still maintains that he's not suspended. You know, a report came out recently from his spokesperson that um, that title, that position, Oluboshere, that is still death. That is the first time we're hearing such a thing that um, it is still death. No one can uh, um, remove him, no one can uh, sack him from that position. But we've seen that um, as soon as uh, um, His Royal Highness Ogyama Tuashe III, as soon as um, he uh, um, was enthroned, he became king. He dissolved the Council of Chiefs. He suspended Ayeri because Ayeri was bringing a lot of issues. You know, up to now, Ayeri is in court challenging the emergence of um, um, Shola. You know, when he was asked, in an interview, he was asked, why did you not turn up? Why didn't you turn up for the coronation? And he said he stated that you know I still I have a case in court. If I turn up, it looks like I'm not serious, or it looks like I've accepted. That was the reason he gave that he hasn't accepted that the case is in court. And he has his own argument. The phrase is hinging it on uh, the 1979 edict that um, there are some things there that um, those who selected uh, um, Shola, who selected him as the new Olu of Wari, as the 21st, uh, 21st Olu of Wari, that they did not uh, uh, meet some of those, <laughs> the, the law. Well, all of that is in court, and then we're waiting, we're looking, uh, we'll see how all of that plays out. But in the meantime, once uh, um, Ogyami Atuashe III has taken over, he's now set his house in order. That is the right thing to do. And we saw that in the remark, uh, the, 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 the head of the council chief, chief, Amar Sheru Lege, 
he when he was responding on behalf of the other um, chiefs to him he feels that um, what the traditional ruler has done is the best thing he was commending him for the revalidation exercise that this is the wisest thing this is the best thing to do to get to those who are who are uh, uh, of one mind one vision who are on the same page you know there's even a scripture in the bible that states that um, can two work together except they be agree it was obvious that these people are not on the same path they are not in agreement number one they are even rejecting and kicking against um his emergence so it, it would have been impossible for them to work together in the same uh um, in, in this same uh, uh council and you know even uh Ayeriwo, he was given the opportunity some of the palace chiefs visited him and told him that, you know what, put all of this aside, come and apologize, end all of this, tussle everything, let's settle everything in-house. What are your uh, concerns? Let's come and apologize, apologize and let's work together again as family. But he refused. We'll see how um, his, um, the court case goes, but um, the Olu of worry is already marching forward. He started. He's, uh, uh, there is no time to waste. Everything is going on right now. As soon as he dissolved the, the Council of Chiefs, he did revalidation exercise. So sent some packing somewhere permanently. Some were just sacked. And um, he did revalidation. So I believe that revalidation is asking that they need to pledge their allegiance once again. Are you with us or you are against us? Are you ready to work with us? You know, and while he was admonishing them, he told them that um, they have to represent the palace properly. You know, these chiefs, wherever they go, because they are the palace chiefs, you know, they they uh, they carry some sort of a, a, a respect and honor. People respect that, ah, wow, this person is coming from the palace. As a result of that, he was stating that don't use my name for, <laughs> don't use my name wrongly. Let the palace not be misrepresented. Anytime you go out, let it be for the right purpose. So he's showing that, and he's also pledging that for he, in his own parts, he will play his role. You know, leadership is by example, and I really like what he stated. He said he will play his own part, and he will, his hands will never be tied. He will always tell the truth. He will always stand by the truth. He will always uh, um, do the right thing. You no, know, he was telling the chiefs, urging them to promote values of integrity values of integrities in order to showcase warring kingdom in glowing light and he's also vowed not to compromise on matters of common good of Ishekiri kingdom well guys let's say your own thoughts down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye